Today, I will be using a full team of Pokemon based on aliens from Ben 10. Special thanks to Nido King Biggest Fan for the team idea. If you have an idea for a Pokemon team, be sure to comment below and I will use it. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And now, without further ado, let's get right into the battles. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, lovely people. Today, I am using a Ben 10 team. Now, for this team, I chose six of the 10 aliens that Ben transforms into from the classic series. So I have Iron Treads here for uh, for Cannon Bolt. Now, I had a couple of Pokemon that I could have thought of for Cannon Bolt, specifically like Dawn Fan was one that I was thinking, and Reggie Gigas as well because of how he's built. But I decided to go with Iron Tread because, you know, Iron Treads can actually roll itself into a ball like Cannon Bolt. So there's, there's going to be this lead Alola Ninetales. I'm just going to take it out easily, even through the Aurora Veil and the Snow Defense Boost, just because I'm running a, I'm running in a, a Booster Energy an attack uh, Iron Treads. And I actually got smoked by this Pokemon a while ago, uh, back when I did my Inscription team, I believe. So, you know, I wanted to use it for myself and see how good it was. So, I'm going to swap out into my Froakie here versus this Mew. I thought that, okay, it's Mew under Aurora Veil. It's probably going to be like some demonic uh, setup Mew with like Iron Defense or Calm Mind. So I went out to my Froakie. This is Froakie is a Focus Sash lead uh, Froakie with Spikes. And I have Hydro Pump and Taunt on this. So I went for the Taunt versus the Mew. I'm going to set up my Spikes, hopefully to break any Focus Sashes. I noticed that they did, they did not have a, a Pokemon to remove Hazards. Uh, but the Mew goes for Struggle versus me. Oh my gosh, that bulk up struggle. So this Mew did not have any, uh, it only had status moves. I was like, oh my gosh. So it's it's like Baton Pass Mew. That's that's interesting. So I'm going to get, oh my gosh, I just barely lived that struggle. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, they're going to eat a Citrus Berry there. And I was wondering like, okay, um, I do not want this Pokemon uh, passing off stat boost to its, the other Pokemon because they had some absolute threats on their team. So I'm going to go for the taunt there and uh, prevent the Mew from going for the baton pass. It is going to mean that I'm going to get taken out by struggle though. Struggle, bulk up Mew, amazing. So I'm going to go for that Hydro Pump, just get as much chip as I possibly can and also stall out the Aurora Veil potentially. And yeah, I'm going to get taken out by struggle on my Froakie. So I actually, I actually had a Terra Ghost on that Froakie as well. Now. Speaking of Ben 10 though, I am 10 subscribers away, actually less than that, I'm 5 subscribers away from hitting 500 subscribers. So um, if you like Dream Team content or you enjoy Pokemon content in general, please feel free to subscribe, support your local trans content creator. I would really appreciate it. Uh, that would mean that I'm halfway to 1000. Something special is going to happen once I hit that goal. So. In comes Grimstar, I'm like, oh great, another screens Pokemon, this is fun. Um, I have this Choice Rex. Tinted Lens Yan Mega. This set is wild. This Pokemon is really, really strong. Um, but since I'm running Choice Specs and not Heavy Duty Boots, I'm very prone to Stealth Rock. So I have a lot of uh, hazard removal support on this team, which you will see shortly. So the Grimstar is going to paralyze me and uh, it's going to go for the Spirit Break versus me. I'm like, okay, they're going to drop my special attack. That's really unfortunate um, because it means that they get they essentially get free setup with whatever Pokemon they bring in after this. I thought Yon Mega for uh, for Stinkfly was the best fit. I chose the classic aliens because, you know, ben, the original Ben 10 series is the one that I remember the most. Although I did watch uh, Alien Force as well with Humongosaur, like that's and like Gwen and Kevin Eleven. So in comes the Zekrom here. I'm like, wait, uh, its ability didn't kick in like the Turbo Blaze. And then the Zekrom goes for Sword Dance. I'm like, oh, I see. I know what you are. So uh, I have this specially defensive Colossal here. This is a Rapid Spin Colossal with Heavy Duty Boots. The Zekrom is going to go for Poltergeist. I live the plus two Poltergeist, thankfully. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to go for that Overheat versus the Zekrom. Yes, because it's actually a Zoroark. So um, this is a mixed Colossal. I have Earthquake on this and I have uh, Will-O-Wisp and Rapid Spin and Overheat on this set with Terra Grass. This Pokemon was meant to be like my Rapid Spinner because Again, my Yan Mega was super weak to, to Stealth Rock. Also, like in case the opponent brought Toxic Spikes, I could Rapid Spin away the Toxic Spikes for some of the bulkier Pokemon on my team. So my Colossal is going to get taken out by the Hisuian Zoroark, and I'm going to bring in my Deoxys Speed for Accelerate. I was super excited to use Deoxys Speed, mainly because you never really see people using Deoxys on Wi-Fi, probably because it's such a hard Pokemon to get, but I'm running a special attack sweeping Deoxys Speed with Meteor Beam. So in comes the actual Zekrom here. I'm like, oh goody. They're going to Terrastalize here. I kind of expected them to Terrastalize because I almost went for 
almost went for Ice Beam on this turn, but they're going to be Terra Electric. Oh my gosh, this Bolt Strike is going to hurt me. So, this turn I thought, well, I'm just going to go for the Meteor Beam and get as much chip damage as I possibly can. Um, the moveset that I have on this was uh, Meteor Beam, Psy Shock, Ice Beam, and Focus Blast with Terra Fighting. So, going for that Meteor Beam at plus one, I'm running Modest Nature as well instead of Timid. That does a huge chunk of damage to Zekrom, and they're going to go for the Dragon Dance. So, I'm like, okay, well... They're going to be able to outspeed my Accelerate, which which sounds illegal, but they're going to be able to outspeed my Accelerate here, and they're going to be leftovers as well. So I thought, well, I still have my Iron Treads in the back, and, you know, Zekrom, it looks like the type of Pokemon to get Earthquake, right? Because it's a big, it's a big-ass dragon, right? But, like, it doesn't get Earthquake. It actually doesn't really get much coverage to deal with the, the Steel Ground Iron Treads because I resist the Dragon moves, and the Electric moves I'm just completely immune to. So I was like, okay, well, I can swap that in. And go for the earthquake versus this pokemon i should be taking like a good chunk of damage from dragon claw but at the very least i'll be able to take it out with earthquake this turn so they're gonna go for that dragon claw it does under half so i'm like oh thank goodness i had this pokemon um so i'm gonna go for that earthquake and take out the zekrom i did have my uh i have a defensive wall in the back that i could have uh, swapped into this but it would have taken a a humongous chunk of damage and i probably would have lost if i brought it in you'll see why now so in comes the inteleon Oh, this Pokemon was a huge threat. Uh, so they're gonna be a uh, snipe shot. I imagine that they're scope lens uh, snipe shot with the the uh, the sniper ability. So that's gonna take out my Iron Treads there. So I'm like, okay, well, I I'm running a Wild Mutt here for a uh, uh, Houndstone here for Wild Mutt, and um, I have Terra Water on this, so I can hopefully tank the snipe shots from this. But I'm running a Max Defense Houndstone with Fluffy. It's so tanky on the defensive side. It's crazy. So. They're going to go for another Snipe Shot there. Oh my gosh, Snipe Shot does so much damage versus me. Jeez, this, this Pokemon hits super hard. Uh, but I'm going to go for that Body Press. And I'm running uh, I'm running Body Press and Nightshade on this and Pain Split for like my recovery. But the Inteleon is going to go for the Air Cutter. I'm like, oh no, that's, that's really bad. They also crit me with that too. So um, Body Press just misses the KO. I'm like, dang, I'm, not, I'm probably going to lose here because they can easily like Air Cutter or Ice Beam my Yanmega, which is paralyzed in the back. This is really unfortunate, but they missed Air Cutter. What? They missed Air Cutter. That's crazy. I did not deserve to win that game. I can't believe they didn't go for a Snipe Shot. That would have taken me out, I imagine, because I'm on such a low amount of health. I, I did not deserve to win that game. That was actually crazy because I, I, I would have gotten taken out by a crit air cutter from that turn. And also Ice Beam would have just taken me out if they had it. Wow, that was that game was wild. Uh, so into this next game. This team with that I'm facing is actually really cool. Um, so I'm going to swap out my uh, my Froakie versus this lead Sneezer because I anticipated a fake out to come across the Sneezer. I wasn't sure if this was like... Uh, poison touch or if it was a uh, unburdened they're gonna go for the dire claw versus me and they're gonna get that paralysis i'm like you know what that's the best possible status that could have happened to me in that turn because i could have either been put to sleep which, been, which would have been uh, absolutely catastrophic or i could have been poisoned and that would have uh neutered my defensive capabilities on this houndstone now you're gonna see the absolute walling on this pokemon in during this battle so it, it's it's really nice um in comes the Alolan Muck. I knew that this Pokemon was going to go for knockoff versus me, and I did not want to particularly lose my leftovers. They're running a model poison team because they have a Sneasler and a Alolan Muck. So I was like, well, I have free switching into my Iron Treads. Since I'm going to use up my booster energy, knockoff is really going to do next to nothing to me. And um, I don't anticipate them to want to go for like a, a Drain Punch or anything. That would be a crazy play. So uh, they're going to go for the knockoff. Thankfully, I use my booster energy. And they have like no switches to this Earthquake. This Earthquake is absolutely free into their team. So it comes the Glamora. This Pokemon is going to get absolutely obliterated. Um, I was wondering if this Pokemon was Focus Sash. But it ends up not being Focus Sash. So I'm like, okay, well, they're going to set up the Toxic Spikes versus my team. But like I said, I do have Hazard Removal on this team. I actually have... Uh, rapid spin on my iron treads as well and i have a uh, earthquake ice spinner and iron head with terra flying so yeah iron treads is such a powerful pokemon like i i did end up getting a sweep with it which i don't get often so i always get uh really excited whenever that happens just because you know i'm you know i'm improving as i'm creating this kind of content anyway because i i would still consider myself an amateur but i'm always going to be constantly improving as i do these battles so the Salazzle is going to swap out. They actually went for Toxic versus my Iron Treads, which would have worked because uh, because Salazzle has the Corrosion ability, so they could Poison Steel type. Now, I'm going to go for the Earthquake. I actually have Earthquake on this too. Now, 
On this turn, I was like, well, I don't know. I Should I go for Earthquake again and like try to chip down this Alola Muck? They're going to have Drain Punch as well. I imagine that it's like a Salt Vest Muck. So this turn, I was like, well, I really want to get rid of the, the Toxic Spikes here. And because uh, my Focus Sash on my Froki is still preserved. And I don't want my Deoxys Speed to get poisoned. So there goes the Toxic Spikes. I'm going to take up more Toxic Damage though. So I'm like, well... I might as well just go for the Earthquake because, like I said, they don't really have many uh, ground type switches and do as much damage as I possibly can versus the Alola Muck. So they're going to knock off my boots and that's basically going to be the end of my Colossal from the, the toxic damage. So this turn I was like, well, I could bring in my Cannon Bolt once again. Oh, I chose Heat Blast for a Colossal over like, there was several options that I chose because there's uh, Blaziken, there's Typhlosion, which always has like that fire, there's Groudon, but I thought Colossal was like the best fit. Mainly because, like, you know, uh, Heat Blast's uh, body is covered in, like, magma and, like, rocky. Like, uh, what do you call it? So, um, I I thought Colossal was the best fit because it also he also has that kind of body. So, um, uh, yeah, I get taken out by Flamethrower. I'll be honest, I was expecting this Pokemon to be, like, Toxic uh, Substitute Protect. And, like, you know, that Toxic Stalling Salazzle set. So, I wasn't expecting it to be offensive and take me out with Flamethrower. Now they're gonna go for the Toxic versus my Froakie. I'm like, okay, this is fine. I'm gonna set up my spikes. Now this spike, believe it or not, this spike probably changed the entire course of the battle. And I'll explain why in a moment. So um, on this turn, I was like, well, they're probably just gonna take me out with the Poison move. I might as well just go for a Hydro Pump and get as much chip damage as I can. They go for Nasty Plot though. I'm like, oh, they expect me to go for another spike. This is amazing. Cause now I'm gonna be able to go for some big Hydro Pump damage. It takes it all the way down to its Focus Ash. I'm like, Thank goodness I broke the sash because otherwise I would have been in a I would have been in a really awkward position versus this Pokemon. I would have had to bring in my Yon Mega and my Yon not my Yon Mega, my Deoxys Speed. And that Pokemon I would have gotten chipped and I really am relying on that Pokemon to win in the end game. Especially since the Alolan Muck is down. So bring in my Deoxys Speed to revenge KO this Pokemon. I'm gonna go for the disrespectful Ice Beam versus this. The pressure is on at the moment. So there goes the Salazzle. Now they had a they had a Dragalge in the back. They had Sneasler and they had um, Gengar. So in comes the Dragalge here. Now, Dragalge is a very, very bulky Pokemon. So I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to stay in versus this because I don't think Psyshock is going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, like, Dragalge has a lot of special defense, but if it's running a more defensive set, then I'm really not going to be doing much of anything. So I'm really happy that I swapped out because they actually end up being a toxic uh, Black Sludge uh, Dragalge. So I'm like, okay, well... My Yon Mega, I, I opted to swap into it because it's not really going to be doing much uh, to the last Pokemon, especially since it's going to get outsped. They're, they're like, they're Toxic Protect Dragology. That's disgusting. So, uh, the best thing that I could do was go for the Bug Buzz. I'm running a Choice Specs Terra Bug Bug Buzz on this Yon Mega, which hits like an absolute trade. Um, I'm running uh, Air Slash and Giga Drain and U-Turn with Terra Bug on this. So... I'm going to take some more toxic damage from this now. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to go for the bug buzz, get as much chip damage as I possibly can. Wow, that is so much damage to the Dragology. It actually does over half. I'm like, wait, this is more defensive than specially defensive. I could be able to take out this Dragology. They actually miss Muddy Water too, Muddy Water Dragology. Um, I was thinking that maybe like a Draco Meteor or a Sludge Wave would come off versus me, but I wasn't expecting a Muddy Water from this. They're going to get that scummy accuracy drop. That's actually wild. So... They're going to go for Protect now. On this turn, I was like, well, it's going to be very close whether or not I take out this Pokemon with the next Bug Buzz. Tinted Lens ignores not very effective uh, damage, by the way, if you didn't know. So I'm like, well, I might as well just go for it, see what happens. So going for that Bug Buzz this turn. And man, I take out the Dragology. Holy smokes. What a what an absolute beast. This Pokemon is crazy. Um, I wasn't expecting to take out a Pokemon because, like I said, I was just sacrificing this uh, Yon Mega because it wasn't really going to outspeed the rest of the last two Pokemon. So in comes the Sneezer. Now I actually learned something from this interaction. They're going to go for the Fake Out and Normal Gem is going to activate. I'm like, okay. They went for they went for Fake Out versus my Hound Zone and Normal Gem did not activate when it happened. That's why I assumed that it might have been Poison Touch instead of, uh, instead of Unburden because I thought that uh, the Normal Gem Fake Out would go off versus my Hound Zone and still fail, but Normal Gem is actually pretty smart. I don't know if it was always like that, but it's actually a really interesting mechanic. So they're going to be Terra Flying Acrobatics. I needed to... I needed to get rid of this Pokemon because it's now going to be able to outspeed my Deoxys Speed. And I'm more than likely going to get taken out by an Acrobatic. Look how much damage I just take from that. Um, so yeah, like the Fluffy ignore, like it doesn't ignore, but um, I mean, it might as well ignore. But 
Fluffy halves the damage from contacting moves. So that's why I took so little damage from this. Now I actually had a little present for the Sneasler here. And it actually was ended up being super important. I had Roar on the Sneasler. No, not on my Sneasler. On the, on the Houndstone. I had the Roar on the Houndstone. So I, now that when the Sneasler swaps back in, it's not going to have it on Burden Boost. So now my Deoxys Speed is going to outspeed it. In comes the Gengar here. Now this is where the spikes ended up being pivotal potentially. Because I wasn't sure if the Gengar was running uh, Focus Sash or if it was running like Choice Specs or Choice Scarf. Obviously, I did not want to switch it by Deoxys Speed, so I'm going to get taken out there by the, the Shadow Ball. Critical hit, it definitely didn't matter. Um, now, I, I will say, I actually had a Ghost Freak on this team for Dusk Snore, but I ended up replacing a Ghost Freak for, um, for, for Wild Mutt, Houndstone, just because um, Houndstone also has like no eyes and it's also like a dog. And also like... Ghost Freak wasn't around like towards the, the later seasons. It was more like an antagonist. It was like a it was like an alien gone rogue. So gonna go for the Psy Shock here versus the Gengar. I do outspeed it. I terrestrialize into a fighting type just in case it was a choice scarf. But uh, I'm gonna end up outspeeding it. Thankfully, if it was Focus Sash, I did break it with the spikes. Now in comes this Sneasel here. I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam. I did not want to risk missing a Meteor Beam versus this Pokemon. And that's gonna be the end of both games. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said. I'm very, 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 very close to 500 subs. So feel free to subscribe if you enjoy Pokemon Battle content or Pokemon Deep Team content especially because that's what I do. And I have a team planned for when I hit it. My name is Skyla. Don't forget to smile. And I will see you all next time.